Hashtag do it for Drake has communities coming together to show support for the grieving family of a 12-year-old boy who died by suicide last week. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with a motivational speaker and a woman who is bringing hope to uh, awareness of suicide and bullying. Two kids here in Utah committed suicide because they were bullied at school. One of those kids Ryan Stream is referring to is 12-year-old Drake Hardman, who died last week. Stream is a motivational speaker who has felt the impact suicide can have firsthand. My biological mother committed suicide. Five years ago, I was going to commit suicide. I hit 110 miles an hour, and I was going to run it into a cement block wall about three miles outside of town. Which is why, after hearing about Drake's death, Stream took to social media spreading both positivity. Listen, when somebody calls you short, say, hey, you're right. When somebody calls you fat, say, hey, I like to eat good food. When somebody calls you stupid, just say, hey, yeah, I wish I was as smart as you. Don't let somebody with low self-esteem and a lack of confidence destroy you. And some uplifting words during a dark time. Words are powerful. They could destroy us or they could help build us. The support for Drake can be seen in many forms and in many communities across the state and elsewhere. From signs to stickers with hashtag do it for Drake to even people lighting up their homes purple both day and night, which was Drake's favorite color. I felt like any form of support that the other communities can give to him to show that we're thinking about them would also mean the world to them as they're going through this. With the support, the hope is to also bring some understanding to the impact bullying can have. The thing about with bullying is it's not going to be 100% safe, but at least this can bring awareness to continue talking to our kids about it. What happened to Drake is making a difference in our state and all across the world. If you don't think you can make a difference, I would like for you to reconsider that thought. I did speak with a family member of Drake's earlier today. She tells me how thankful and grateful the family is for all of the community support, not just here, but across the world. She says it's very heartwarming for a very broken hearted family to see everyone rally around Drake and this movement he's created. In Stansbury Park, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.